What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So as I'm making videos about Shiba Inu yesterday and I look at all the comments today and some people you know, are basically saying that they support Shiba Inu, others say that they don't support Shiba Inu and that um, maybe I should give up on this position, that the dream for what Shiba Inu was supposed to do for a lot of people is gone. And I don't think that's necessarily true. I think the dream for a lot of people has kind of developed into something different, but the ultimate dream of what Shiba Inu was going to do and what it's supposed to do for a lot of people and give people the opportunity to do, you know, is still alive. And I think that's something we can learn from, right? It's not about just what it's going to do, but the opportunity of doing that thing. That's really what we care about is the opportunity. Yes, overall, we want to see that happen because who wants who doesn't want to gain a ton of money out of things <clears throat> and be able to be financially free and all of that stuff right but the opportunity means a hell of a lot to us and it just opens the door but it doesn't completely close it you know so guys if you could <clears throat> make sure you hit the like button hit the subscribe button i'm going to explain exactly what the dream is for Shiba Inu. So uh, definitely make sure you hit that like button. Also make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you wanna follow me on Twitter, follow me on Patreon. Those links are also in the description. Don't forget about my credit card YouTube channel, which will be up in the description. I appreciate you guys for even considering like watching videos and subscribing. We're up to like 40 something subscribers at this moment. Uh, so. Thank you, everybody that has supported it so far and continue to show that support as the days go on. But like I said, Shiba Inu is definitely a position that's not for everybody, but the people that do understand what it's supposed to represent knows what I'm talking about when I talk about the dream, when I talk about the Shiba Inu dream. No, it's not just saying, hey, I want to get Shiba Inu to one cent or I want to get Shiba Inu to 10 cents or a dollar. Yes, prices do matter and people are excited to see where it can go but ultimately it's about what people can make from those investments and making hundreds of thousands of dollars or millions of dollars technically is the dream where we currently stand with shiba inu it's at five zero seven three zero nine for a lot of people to make millions of dollars you would need to see this get to probably around a penny right if it gets to a penny and you're holding, you know, 100 million coins, what's that like a million dollars that you end up gaining off of that. So obviously, people want it to get to these levels, because then they make millions of dollars. However, there's spots in between that people can uh, basically say, I have a spreadsheet, or I have a strategy, I'm going to take profit and make life changing amounts of money, that life changing amounts of money could be hundreds of hundreds of thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars, it could be a single digit thousand dollars, but it's something that's life changing for a lot of people, because it turns a certain amount of money, a smaller amount of money into a larger amount of money. So anyways, we're standing at five zeros, we're standing at a $4.3 billion market cap with $82 million that has gone through it. So a lot of people also see that dream as well. They see the potential gains, whether it's short term or long term, and they see that opportunity that it does present to us. So the reason why I say, you know, um, this is the dream, right? There's two things that I wanna bring up. One is this, where the uh, Shiba Inu investor turns $1,000 into $15 million September 2023. And that is today. As we scroll down here, you can get into all the details as to where the prices were, where the all-time highs were, but you can actually see the breakdown here um, as we look at the chart. So Shiba Inu token, if you bought $1,000 at um, these levels, right? If you had $1,000 at this level in August 2020, obviously you would have turned it into so much more uh, up to uh, 55.4 55.4 million dollars there and currently um in september 2023 standing at about 14.5 million dollars so that is the ultimate dream is to turn a small amount of money into a life-changing amount of money is that necessarily the full dream to say we want it to go from a thousand to 15 million obviously everybody would love that but it doesn't mean that that is the ultimate dream for everybody 
we just want to see financial freedom. And for some people, financial freedom can mean $100,000. That gets them out of debt. It may pay off something, pay off credit card debt, pay off uh, student loans or whatever you end up having. And now you are sort of financially free. Yes, you still have to work, but you have a lot of things paid off and you have kind of a fresh start that's there. That's what we want. And then ultimately, right? Everybody would like something like this, where uh, you turn $8,000 into $5.7 billion. That is the the biggest form of, you know, just random and kind of gambling side of investing. Because where there they invested $8,000, you know, in Shiba Inu, it was at a very, very low point. It was a very speculative play and no one could have guessed that they would keep, you know, that much money in there. I can tell you this, if anybody's investing, let's say $5,000, $10,000 or whatever into a play and they're looking to gain a hell of a lot out of it, most likely when they see it hit certain levels that they haven't seen before, they're going to sell the position. This takes a lot of mental strength in order to hold on to that position to to own, you know, $5.7 billion worth of Shiba Inu or anything for that matter, right? If I had even a billion dollars, you're telling me that me seeing a billion dollars, I wouldn't go, no, I don't have to work for the rest of my life. My children don't have to work for the rest of their lives. Um, yeah, that's exactly what I would do. So it takes a lot of mental strength to be able to hold on to that and go, no, it's going to be worth a hell of a lot more. And I now have $5.7 billion. No, I would for sure take that. I would take 100% of it. I don't care about any other um, situation that's happening there. I don't care if I could have gained an extra two, three, four, five billion dollars on top of it. I'm a billionaire from uh, Shiba Inu. And yes, you probably, you do have to pay a, a crap load of taxes, but still you're gaining life-changing amounts of money that you could live off of, your your children can live off of, your like everybody can really live off of it. <laughs> Honestly, everybody within your household can live off of it uh, if you manage it the right way. So this is the ultimate dream is to create financial freedom for you, your kids, maybe your kids' kids. That's really that ultimate goal. However, just having life-changing amounts of money is definitely that that thing there. And I would say, like I said in the beginning, it's less about the money and more about the opportunity to do that. Because if you have the opportunity to do it, you end up making the choice in when you want to sell. Just like the Dogecoin millionaire and him turning 180000 into like $3 million, but then didn't sell anything. You had the opportunity to do whatever you wanted to do with that money in pocket, what you basically paid as well as a million dollars plus, but you decided not to do it. So the opportunity is there. And we just have to capitalize on that opportunity. So let me know what you think about this. Am I right by saying that we care more about the opportunity than we do about the money? Am I wrong by saying that? Do you just care about the money and you don't care about the opportunity right now? Because honestly, we don't know exactly what's going to happen with everything. And we don't know how the community is going to adapt to this. And if we're going to see burns that are happening with it, because we're just kind of uncertain right now. So anyways, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to get out of here. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.